Deep brain stimulation is a minimally invasive procedure. It can be effective at treating conditions such as essential tremor, Parkinson's disease, and epilepsy. The idea is that we use the brain's natural language, which is electricity. And instead of making the brain talk in a particular way, we're disrupting the brain from talking in an abnormal way. The first part of the procedure is where we implant the actual electrodes into a very specific nucleus in the brain. Typically, patients have it done on both sides to treat symptoms on both sides of the body, but it doesn't have to be that way. It can also be one-sided. If it's both sides of the brain that we're treating, then we would make a small incision on both sides of the scalp. It's usually about two and a half centimeters long and make an opening in the bone about the size of a dime. And we use a very precise apparatus to gently guide the electrode through the brain tissue and down into that target nucleus. We use microelectrode recording to actually listen to the brain cells. And by listening to the brain cells on the way down, I can actually tell exactly where we are in the brain. And then we can finish up with that first procedure by just taking the electrodes that are now in the brain and the back end of those electrodes, we just pocket them behind the ear, underneath the scalp. And the total procedure takes somewhere around two and a half to three hours. Then we bring them back for the second stage, which can be anywhere from a few days to maybe a few weeks later. And the second stage is where we take the back end of those wires, which we tucked underneath the scalp. We just make a small opening right on top of those wires and then make an incision in the chest where the stimulator itself will go, which is kind of like a pacemaker, but for the brain. And then we create a pathway underneath the skin to connect from the top of the head to the chest. And that procedure itself takes about 30 minutes and is an outpatient procedure. There's two things that I hear from patients post-operatively. It's new lease on life, and I wish I had done it sooner. <laughs>